Good morning, internet. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, um, more progress has been made. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be kept away, thrown out, donated. I don't know. I just need to actually go through it. Anyways, I'm going to get back to work and then talk to you guys probably after work. So I'm sitting here at my desk eating this energy bowl that Tobias and I made. We actually bought a food processor on the weekend. I don't know if I mentioned in the last vlog, but that was the food processor that when I was washing it out, I cut my hand, if you can see just there, on the blades, um, which was really unpleasant. But I'm really glad we bought the food processor because we didn't have one. And I kept trying to make energy bowls for Tobias. Like I usually make protein bowls for him and I kept trying to make them in the blender and they kept getting stuck. And then we had to use a, is it a mortar and pestle? It's the one where you just grind it up manually. Oh my gosh, that was so painful to do. So we agreed we should just get a food processor, but we weren't sure if we would use it often enough. So the kind of the deal that we've made with each other is that we don't have many kitchen appliances to begin with. So any kitchen appliance we get either has to come from a place like Kmart where it's super cheap or a place of equivalent price, or we get a hand-me-down from someone in the family or a friend. And so we got a really cheap one. It's tiny, but it's cheap and it works perfectly. And I'm pretty happy with it. So I think we'll use that till it cocks it and then we'll buy a proper one. So I decided instead to make energy bowls for myself because I don't really, I don't know, not a big fan of protein bowls. Tobias likes the one with cacao powder and they've got coconuts and I don't really like cacao powder. And I don't really like coconut. So this is mostly just dates, peanuts, lots of peanuts, peanut butter, chia seeds, some almonds almond flour or flakes or not flakes like grounded almonds and I think that's pretty much it I'm just trying to think yeah I think that's it and it tastes really good very filling and apparently it's pretty okay like it's better than eating a bag of chips which is what I would normally want to eat now that I work from home every day um, and I don't really uh, physically go out at all like at most it's like to the garden so it is probably better that I try and start being a little bit more cautious of what I'm eating and just keep an eye on that. Finally, it's after work and I've got a couple packages I need to open so I thought, because I have lack of content, let's do that on camera. There's this mystery box. Oh, it's really it's a, heavy. It's a very heavy mystery box. Yeah, it's a really heavy mystery box. Um, it's not a mystery box. I, I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but it's just that the name, so they're like the sender, is not one I recognize. So I suspect they're using like a fulfillment center or something like that. Whereas most of the time, everything else that I've ordered, I recognize the sender. So I know exactly what it is. But yeah, let's just get into it. So and I'm pretty sure most people will know the brand names. This one is from Nudie Glow. So it's basically a Korean beauty brand based out in Melbourne somewhere, I think Docklands, I'm not sure. But basically because of all this isolation, I feel like I have a bump on my head. I can't tell if it's a bump. I braided my hair, which I don't do very often, but that's a skill that I've learned <laughs> in isolation. <laughs> yeah, lots of practice. Like, this is like the hairstyle I've always wanted to put on myself when we travel because it's a good way to just tie your hair up but not put kinks and like actually tie your hair up. Except I do have a lot of like fluffy bits but now I know how to braid my hair now which is like yeah Extra good. Skill. I want to do braids like on both sides next because I think it'll be tighter but anyways learning new skills in isolation <laughs> good um, for something. I'm spending a lot more time on my skincare on beauty on my hair care just like basic self-care stuff not basic self-care but basically self-care so I've been spending a lot more of my time styling my hair doing my skincare in the morning so these products this is the clean at zero this is like a cleansing balm I'm really loving the cleansing balms right now um, for the double cleanse though I've been double cleansing for like the last decade of my life but I usually use cleansing oils and cleansing balms I find I don't know just like they're not as um I don't find them as effective as uh, cleansing oils for getting off things like mascara but if you don't have any mascara, which I actually am wearing mascara right now, but if you're not wearing mascara, then balms are actually so good. And they just feel a little bit like, 
I don't know, it feels like richer. I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure they're both equally great because it's essentially just hardened oil, I assume is what the balm is. But um, yeah, so I actually like switching it up depending on what I wear. Sorry, my eyebrows itchy. Um, and then this is from, I think the brand is called Jejun Cosmetics. It's basically like um, under eye gel patches. So I saw this on Instagram um, and I already have a lot of masks that I'm actually, I pretty much wear a mask every single day, but I saw these online and they look really, really nice. Um, and they look very like soothing and comfortable so I'm gonna try these at some point as well so that's the haul I got from N Nudie Glow and then some samples as well but you know samples so that's the box done um, I've got another box here from W Cosmetics which is I don't know if they specialize in Asian cosmetics but I know that the one the physical store that I see in Emporium only does Asian cosmetics this one I think I got it via Amazon through their online store so online by the Amazon store and it is these Saborino Saborino face masks but they're like different sort of face masks generally face masks I find replace either the essence or the serum step depending on the actual face mask or it's an additional step to that depending on your products this these masks are supposed to replace everything from like toning to essence to moisturizers to the standard masks to everything so it's like a multi-step mask it's really popular in japan like i saw this I think the last time we were in japan was the start of last year and this was like insanely popular but they're quite weighty and i had a lot of other things i wanted to buy so i didn't end up buying one of these but um ponikita on instagram has been raving about these and there's like so many different types and i was very tempted to just like you know what i'll just get all of them and i'm like nope since i've never tried this before let's just buy one pack and see what it's like and if i really like it then i can invest in more i mean i don't know how often i'm going to be using these like on on face value i feel like these are not going to replace my skincare routine because i actually enjoy doing my whole skincare routine but it might be a nice option in the morning and they included some samples as well man these samples always get me like i literally end up buying products because they send samples and i'm like oh that's nice i'm gonna get, get that i mean that's probably the point so an in shower gel scrub treatment which is uh it's like an exfoliator and this feels like another exfoliator from cure oh yeah number world's number one exfoliator it's an exfoliator but this is for your face and this is for your body all right this box i feel a little guilty for even though i know it's not really my fault but i still feel a little guilty um it is from daily charm which is one of my favorite shops to buy nail polish gel nail accessories and stuff for and i have been ordering from them for years now because i love this stuff but um every time i order i always make sure to order like enough to hit the free shipping threshold which i think is like 200 dollars which is why i order like once a year maybe once every two years it's not often at all and usually the last order i did was it was i don't know sometime last year but um usually it comes from canada and it takes like two to three weeks well this time and i assume it's because of um everything going on after about i don't know five weeks i was getting really worried because they send tracking information and it was basically like a week after i placed the order it's been stuck in the same warehouse the entire time and it hadn't moved at all like no update whatsoever and then i started getting emails from the company saying can you please review our products and i'm like i haven't even gotten your product how can i review your products so i got kind of irritated and i messaged them back i'm like this is stuck in the warehouse and i'm really worried it's never gonna get here and so they're like okay you have to wait for 40 business days which is essentially two months wait for two months and then if you still haven't got it then message us and we'll do an insurance claim so i was like fine so i waited for the two months and i still didn't get it and so i messaged them and so they lodged an insurance claim and then after doing the insurance claim like a week or two later the package arrived and now i'm like oh surprise yeah <laughs> it only took what 40 days so now I've asked them to cancel the insurance claim. I don't know if that's a lot of work, if that's going to set them back. I'm not sure what's involved, but 
So this basically took over two months to get here. I still rate Daily Charm. I love their products. This is not their fault. I know it's just because of everything going on, but I don't think I'm going to be ordering <laughs> from them for probably. Until everything settled down and postal services might work again. I mean, I honestly don't need more nail polish either. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be ordering from them for quite a while because I'm really worried about this whole fiasco starting again. And also, I ordered a lot of stuff, so I don't think I'm... I think I'm good for a long time, but this is basically all nail polish. So these are little gel pots. I think if you ever got your nails done in Japan, a lot of the manicurists don't use those twist bottles. I think they use these little pots, and then you just have, like, a standalone brush. You just pull it out and then paint people's nails. So that's interesting. I want to try that. This was on sale. A lot of this they were getting rid of. I assume no one wanted to use them. And then we have some like iridescent glitter. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera or not. I feel like this is like a makeup. It seems very glittery. Yeah, it's like a makeup. I can see a dark glitter bar already yeah. on the camera. Um, in the past when, like back in the day when people did makeup tutorials, they'd always like cut away to show the product and they'd be like up close like this. That's what it reminds me of. I've got some more nail polish. I'm not going to take it all out of the bag yet because I want to remind myself, which I don't have. Um, so this is, it's the same brand. It's like Charm Gel. It's a brand associated with the actual website, Daily Charm. So it is their own nail polish. And this is so good. So I only have one bottle right now. I think, I can't remember the name, but it's like a very, it's a very flattering soft pink color. I wore it to work probably for two months and like without a doubt people constantly kept complimenting my nails which is like a weird thing. I don't know. I feel like I feel like people are just I work in IT so I feel like people don't really notice that stuff. But yeah it got noticed and people like love your nails, love the color and I'm like thank you. Love it. Yeah. And they last a really long time, like three weeks they last on your nails and they still last. The only reason you have to kind of take it off is because you've got too much regrowth. So I thought, you know what, if it's going to last that long and I love the colour that much, I'm going to go ham. So I ended up getting seven. Got like some peachy colours, some white colours. I should take it out. Got some purples and some deeper like dusty roses. Um, skinny dip, so this is like kind of a pinky colour. I don't know if you can see it because the viewfinder is so far away. So I can't tell. More pinky colors, nudes, they're basically nudes, and then white, and then it's silver, it's called London Fog. So I have a lot of new colors that are going to set me right for a long time. Like this color I'm wearing right now, this is Passion from OPI, and my manicures usually last a good two weeks now. It's bubble tea! I knew it! I was so worried when I didn't know who the sender was, and like, who is this person? But no, oh, look at all these bubble tea straws, so I am so excited. Basically, this is a website called Bubble Tea Club. I feel like that's going to be the title of this vlog, Bubble Tea. Bubble Tea Club. Because it's like the most like... i got to stop saying like... It just makes me happy. Bubble Tea makes me like super happy. There's no logo. I can only just show you this card. BBT. Um, BBT. Yeah, BBT Club. Um, bubble Tea is just like my addiction. I have a chat group with like some of my closest friends and we're like we've called it bubble tea hoodlums because we just love old tea. I know it's so it's so cheesy. It's so cringy. Um, so uh, I've never tried this before. They say basically it's like bubble tea kits that you can make bubble tea at home, which I feel like makes sense because when you go to most bubble tea places, it's not like they're sitting there freshly no, plucking just, the leaves and they're just, combining, and they're just combining stuff. Yeah. yeah. And shaking it and that's it. Yeah. It's just it, like fructose, syrups, some tea, water, some and pearls, then some. And that's it, yeah, the pearls they cook, like, but you can cook them. Well, no, not all stores, like the, the, the one we really like, they cook them, but a lot of them seem to just have them pre-made. I think those are still pre-made, but you cook them in a syrup instead. Mm. Um, that's what makes it really sweet. But yeah, so I ended up buying a few of these to try, because I'm really curious, because it, it works out to be like, two to three dollars for a cup of bubble tea if you make it at home like less than three dollars for sure and if these taste like the shop then why would i ever go back to the shop because <laughs> if Ooh. you can buy these in bulk for cheaper we will have the consistency of my bubble tea at home. yeah oh man you got like little like spoony things it feels so like official you get all these i mean oh, I've... that's a lot how many drinks can you gonna make with that pack 
I don't know. I cause um. Because you would have calculated twenty five serves. Twenty five serves. serves. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Because now we're twenty five. Yeah, this should be twenty five. Yeah. Thing is that we've got glass versions of these, so we might not have to use these, but we'll keep them anyways. They're nice and thick though. But yeah, they're all paper, not plastic. So yeah. Um, oh, oh wow, this is liquidy. What is, oh, okay, lychee coconut jelly. Oh. Yeah, so, because that's the jelly we like. And then this is the Thai milk tea powder. Let's try that. Um, is, this is the creamer. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I think there's instructions online that you can follow. Uh, milk tea bags. I'm so curious to know how to put this together because I think each type of bubble tea is different. Green tea bags. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like I'm sure you can buy these ways cheaper at yeah. Coles. I'm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're just green tea bags. Yeah, but like, I just don't know the pro. Ooh, it's sticky. I thought it was leaking. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's leaking. Oh, um, it's more leaking. creamer, which is like powder. A lot of creamer, yeah. So is that just like milk powder? It's like um. It's like liquid, it's like powdered cream. So it literally makes you, it's like people put in coffee instead of cream. Ah. It's like, it's making it creamy. Looks like this is all sticky. These are pearls. <laughs> <laughs> they look interesting when they're like... They're vacuum sealed. Vacuum sealed shrink wrap. Pearls. Um, uh, I hope nothing's leaked. It's, it does feel a little sticky. I don't um, think it's I leaked. Maybe, the... Maybe it's just a plastic a little bit. It doesn't, I don't see any staining on the cup or anything. Yeah, so this is fructose. Sugar. Fructose. Sugar, Bags sugar. of sugar. I, sh I feel like these need to go somewhere. Let's put them here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put them here somewhere. Yeah, they're sticky. I think I need to wipe those down. Um, more pearls. Which is a little sticky as well. you know what types of pearls well. they are? I'm not sure. More fructose. They look like brown sugar pearls or something. Um, they don't label the pearls though. There's three bags of pearls. Mystery pearls. Mystery pearls. Brown sugar syrup. Oh, they oh. I wonder whether they're neutral pearls and you have to cook them in that brown sugar syrup. Maybe. Because they look very... Well, not bland, but they don't look as dark as the ones I was expecting. So I think that's why... Lychee like syrup. Yeah, I wonder whether you cook the pearls in that to give it whatever flavor you want. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to, the instructions are online. They're not in this bag. Okay. So that's the bubble tea hole. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Actually, this is, I'm way more excited about the bubble tea than all the makeup that I bought. <laughs> oh, I want to make some now. Oh, well, we have time. But Depending Anthony's on. call's going to be coming in soon, so I don't want to get into this and then we'll do this later. We'll do this when we have more time. Yeah. I'm currently playing Animal Crossing and I have caught my final scorpion. Uh, basically went to Bamboo Island luckily and it's after 7 p.m. so I was able to um, if you play this game then you know that you can actually knock out all the trees flowers rocks everything set up this kind of cross fashion and basically just capture all the scorpions and I managed to get a ton of scorpions and they sell for like 4,000 bells each or something like that so I'm gonna make bank because I really need some money and on top of that, I have that bug lady, um, can't remember her name, that purple, uh, no, pink dragon. She's on the island right now, and she pays like 50% more for each of the scorpions for any bugs you get, so cannot wait. Hey internet, it is probably the next day or the next next day. I don't actually remember when I last vlogged, but um, I've done my makeup a little differently today, as in like I've gone a little heavy on the eyeshadow, and I'm kind of really liking it. I don't think I would wear this much makeup to work, like in the office, I just don't feel it's comfortable, but also maintaining this sort of makeup is a little more challenging at work. Um, at home, I can just like touch up, it's fine, but I don't want to be carrying all my products to the office, so that's why, but one of the things that I'm really embracing and learning is that I don't think I actually need a lot of powder. Like every time I'd set my face, I would set my entire face with powder. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. But now, um, I've been really getting into cream products ever since working from home. I feel like my work from home vibe is cream products all around. And so I only set my under eyes and just where my glasses make contact with the bridge of my nose. Otherwise, no powder anywhere else. Or maybe just like tip of my nose because I can get a little bit oily there. And my makeup looks really good. Like, it's like 7 o'clock now, so I had a really... Um, 
a late, not a late, but like a latish call um, because we were calling Germany and um, I just realized that I've had this makeup on for about 12 hours now and I'm really happy with it so I, th I wonder whether I might just keep doing this at work itself like I probably go a little lighter on the eye makeup but the whole powdering only just certain areas and not my whole face kind of loving it it's dinner time and we decided to get korean barbecue but this is kind of how it comes in its cook form now so we've got some beef japchae cheese mm. corn rice we got some pork belly over there and toby's pretty much got mm. the same some, yeah, chicken and japchae and some corn and i'm not sure how toby has got bella to sit so what bella <laughs> um, <laughs> I, had to, I had to push it down just a little bit <laughs> but she's sitting quite well. I call her. I accidentally called her Bella because she's her still... side profile looks it's, like Bella's side yeah, profile. Yeah, it, it is a fair bit like. Yeah. And I just kind of associate them both in a similar endearing way. <laughs> Toby's is oh, the light comes on. Very cool. Uh, Toby's has gone to pick up some seafood because we feel like seafood tonight. They're not open. He can't get in. Maybe there's like a side entrance. Hmm. Yeah, they might just have some way of doing it. But yeah, interesting. Dinner. Although this is a very small crab, but dinner has arrived. And then we have clam chowder to share, and then these are fried pickles. And then you have coleslaw in chili. chili. So we are in the process of boiling some water to make bubble tea. Our uh, own bubble tea. Yeah, these are the these are the pearls for bubble tea. Um, they look nothing like the pearls of bubble tea. This is the brand that we're going with. We're going to make brown sugar milk tea, um, which is honestly now that we read the instructions, all you're doing is really just cooking the pearls in this, and then add milk. Whatever. So I might. If you coat the outside with syrup, I don't know. But Tobias wants no syrup coating, so let's see. Just fill it up. Uh, yeah, like not not full. Yeah, that, yeah? that'll be enough. Yep. Right. Yeah, it's a lot more um, uh, like cloudy. But yours is a lot clearer. Okay. Yeah? Mm, I actually like it. Oh, is this... I think a little less water for the pearls, so the pearls get a bit more intense, but they're actually quite nice. Like, they've actually got quite a lot of that brown sugar flavor now. Yay! Oh, wow. The taste is really similar. Mm, it's really close, right? Really close. Mm. Yeah. Definitely will cook the pearls with less water. Mm. I like the chewiness of the pearls as they are. I actually mm. really like them the way they are. So we can try them next time with less water, but if that means that they're harder, then maybe this is the way to go, but we mm -hmm. leave This is it. about the same tuners, they reach in about 15 minutes of cooking, and then it's kind of just held this. Oh really? But I don't think it's gotten much more soft or much less. Wow. It, it tastes scarily like the one. <laughs> mm. This might be tweaked a little bit, and then I think we might have a winner. Mm -hmm. going this around. is the close-up of my lunch today. Cannot wait. Good morning internet. It is Sunday and as you can see I have I have such a huge box of Erin Condren planners and no actually it's just Erin Condren planners here and I'm going to be doing an unboxing today for my planner channel. It's Sunday so it's the filming day. It's the designated filming day. These are all the stuffed toys we're finally going to go through and figure out what to keep and where to put them and then what we can like give away yep give away the other ones oh i'm looking at them now and i'm like we can't like this one was when we went to um yellow knife this one was niagara falls yeah this is uh, he, was... we, he had a name as well i can't remember uh i just edited the vlog yeah, for this that's all that not long ago. yeah I can't remember. yeah but we can't we can't get rid of him or her whoever and then pascal, pascal. and this one I can't remember its significance, but it appeared in some of my videos. Penguins. 
dolphins. A lot of this is like stuff. Yeah, is. And then uncooked lobster. So this is the update for the shelf behind me. I've moved all, well I've cleared the top shelf. All the shoes are now where they're supposed to be, where I'm going to be storing shoes. Um, and then I need to actually, there was a little box there with papers that I need to go through. It's a bunch of old receipts. But you'll notice that all the stuffed toys are finally packed away. I think I only managed to get rid of probably a quarter of them because too many of them had sentimental value and um, obviously I couldn't get rid of any that Tobias had given me. But I think what we're going to do is um, store some and then maybe scatter them as decorative pieces around the house. So yeah, we're not really sure yet. I've just put them in a bag for now, but at least they're not just kind of squished up to the side. And um, I've got the hats left that I need to go through and yeah, just little bits and pieces. But you know, we're getting there. I'm really happy. I'm not in the state where I can film videos yet anyways. I'm still, I think I'm going to use this next week as kind of an ideation state and writing scripts because I want the videos to be a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm not in like a super big rush yet to start filming. But I think I'm going to close up the vlog for this week so I can export all the footage and then I will start next week's vlog sometime during the week. I don't think I'm going to start it on Monday. I like having a little bit of breathing space. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to the internet.